common workflow in the creation of product manufacturing information is the dimensioning and tolerancing of whole patterns. SolidWorks' DIM Expert has a variety of tools that help to speed up the process of defining these patterns. In this tutorial, we will be using DIM Expert to dimension and tolerance some of the holes on this fan housing. This part has a linear pattern of holes for bolting the housing to an assembly, as well as a circular pattern of holes which will hold the fan. There is also a central hole where the fan will be mounted. Since the central hole represents the center of the fan, we will want to dimension the rest of the holes on this part relative to the center hole. To begin, let's define the locations of some of the holes in the linear pattern. We start by using the location dimension tool to set the distance between the center hole and one of the holes in the linear pattern. Dim Expert has automatically measured the normal distance between the holes, but we are going to define the X and Z distances between them separately. To do this, we use the Dim Expert direction option in the Dim Expert property manager. By choosing the X symbol, we instruct Dim Expert to measure the distance between the two holes along the X axis rather than the normal distance. Choosing the Z symbol measures the distance between the two holes along the Z axis. Having measured more of the holes in the linear pattern, we can see that there are four dimensions that share the same values. We can clean these dimensions up by combining them using the Combine Dimensions tool. To do this, we select all the matching dimensions that we wish to combine, right-click and select Combine Dimensions. Now let's dimension the holes in the circular pattern. Since these holes are in a circular pattern, an intuitive way to dimension them is using polar coordinates. To do this, we use the Dim Expert Auto Dimension Scheme. From this tool, we choose a prismatic part type, plus and minus tolerances, and a polar pattern for dimensioning. We also define our datums, and then choose the circular hole pattern under selected features. After clicking OK, we can see that the holes have been given polar coordinates. Now that we have assigned location dimensions to all of the holes in our model, let's group the linear pattern of holes together. We do this by choosing the Pattern Feature tool. We then select a hole in the linear pattern. SolidWorks automatically finds the rest of the holes in the pattern. After clicking OK, we can see that all the holes have been linked together. Once the holes have been linked, we can add a size dimension to one hole, and SolidWorks will automatically add the rest of the holes in the pattern to the dimension. From here, we can dimension the rest of our part for our manufacturing needs. 